the volume of blood that you're collecting is sufficient so that you not only have at least one molecule or one cell in that volume that you're collecting, you actually will need a larger number of that so that you make sure you have a statistically reliable test. Now what's challenging is if you're trying to detect those white blood cells, it's the number of interfering cells that are also present. The instrumentation required to detect and quantify your analytes is still relatively large, which still doesn't get the instrument to where the patient is. So as an electrical engineer, I was always fascinated with miniaturization. I did my doctoral studies on making labs for detecting cells, microbes, and mammalian cells, shrinking them, making them really small. Um, I continued further developing this technologies uh, over the years in an academic setting. Uh, and then when the technology got to a point where I felt it was robust enough to, to actually be used in the hands of patients, that's when we decided to spin off a company. Rizlab Health has developed the Cyto Tracker, which is the first lightweight, portable, affordable blood cell analyzer that can instantly quantify white blood cells and the subtypes. And the first use case will be discrimination between viral and bacterial infections. Once the blood is collected from the patient and it gets fed into the Cyto Tracker, the interfering material gets removed. And then the white blood cells flow through an electrical cytometer. Based on the differences between white blood cell subtypes, the detector and the classification algorithms that are behind it can essentially recognize which subtype it is, whether the cell is a neutrophil, whether it's a lymphocyte, giving the physician both information about the patient's white counts and also this assessment as to whether this patient's infection is bacterial or not. Decentralized diagnostics can ultimately result in lowering the cost of healthcare for society. So the hematology analyzer market is $6 billion in size globally, but there's a much larger untapped market for point of care white blood cell testing. For example, antibiotic stewardship. Imagine that every physician that needs to make a decision as to whether their patient needs antibiotics or not has access to a point of care, low cost, white blood cell analyzer. In the US alone, 250 million antibiotic prescriptions are made per year. And according to the CDC, up to 50% of those prescriptions are either unnecessary or even inappropriate. Globally, at least 2.5 billion prescriptions of antibiotics are made per year. That can potentially translate to a market size of at least 30 billion.